and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Teemo standalone. That's right. It's the moment everybody's been waiting for. Can we have Teemo stay alive and just win with uh, getting a huge Teemo? And somebody on a uh, on YouTube also uh, wanted to see this deck on the next meme tier Monday. So, you know, had to build it. Uh, if, if there's an idea that you want to see for next Monday for meme tier Monday, let me know in the comment section. But this is uh, the, like the absolute dream would be having Teemo on turn one and then turn two, we draw suit up. So it costs two mana so we can turn Teemo into a four, four. And then turn three, we play standalone. And now we have a 7-7 seven, seven Teemo on turn three. And hopefully we have the attack token on turn one and then again on turn three. Uh, that would be the absolute <laughs> dream. If our opponent plays Will of Ionia, we'll just, uh, you know, we'll pack up our things. But this should be a pretty fun deck. I'm not expecting a whole lot of wins. We did a poll in chat and, you know, asking out of five games that we're going to play how many wins we're going to get. One was the most popular answer. <laughs> so one and four, hopefully we'll do better than that. And then two and three were like the next two that were tied. Our backup plan is, you know, Fiora or Boom Crew Rookie with the standalone and, um, you know, and uh, suit up and all that kind of stuff. Of course, we are playing Unyielding Spirit also because we don't want our Teemo to die. So we want Unyielding Teemo. So it sh should be pretty sweet. And then Relentless Pursuit, get to attack with more Teemos. All right, that's our deck. Let's see. Let's go with the Pilt. Let's see. Let's go Pilt over board for Teemo and Demacia Sleeves for... Yeah, for Standalone. Powder Monkey's cool. We'll go Powder Monkey. All right, we're going Standalone Teemo at 150. Hopefully not destroying our rank too much. <laughs> Who has been? Andre says, "Who the hell has been waiting for Teemo standalone?" Everyone. Are you kidding me? We get a Teemo mirror. Teemo mirror right off the the top. All right. Honestly, I think I just keep Boom Crew rookie double standalone. I, mean, I guess this isn't really going to race them, is it? Like they're they're going to be able to outrace that. Like, they just chump block the Boom Crew Rookie. Hmm. All right, let's look for Teemo. I'm going to... Yeah! I have my orders. Okay. Oh, man. If they, if they just Mystic Shot Teemo, though, we lose. They wouldn't do that. That would be mean. They're a fellow Teemo player. They know not to Mystic Shot Teemo. That's just too mean. Don't do that. See, there we go. Good. They did not Mystic Shot Teemo. Good, good. So you don't really want to play the Boom Crew Rookie because then it won't die, but let's see. Alright, so I'm at 13. I take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I block the rear guard. Go down to 6. Probably not something you hear too often. Well, if they mi Mystic Shot Teemo, we lose. Never know what hit 
Get him, Teemo. We just have to have them draw like five puff caps, basically. There we go, that helps. Now they only need to draw three puff caps. Obviously I'm dead on the way back. That's <laughs> I'm not I'm not playing this deck to try to survive. No! No! We can only be stopped by Teemo. Only Teemo can stop us. See, they would have drawn those extra two puff caps if I would have hit. And they would have been dead. Or what they need. They need. Yeah, because then they would have still had that other thing die. Because they needed two more puff caps. Boo. Alright, well, we're going to have. Tough Teemo. They can't even just take the win, they have to kill my Teemo. What a jerk. Alright, 0 and 1. That was fun though. That was fun. <laughs> we almost did it. If they didn't have that Teemo. They would have taken seven more. Their other 0 1 would have taken one damage, and they would have drawn two more mushrooms. Alright, get rid of this. Get rid of this, this. Yeah, draw, that would be a pretty, pretty good uh, option. <laughs> Let's guess what rank you'll be done with. He'll be when this deck's done. Another day so in the 450. Field. I don't know, maybe. Swiftly. Five losses in a row. They do. They do combine or they do uh, compile or compound. That's the word I'm thinking of. They do compound losses. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. And definitely want to save the mushroom cloud for like the surprise level. Don't want to just like level before our opponent will realize it. Right, like I don't want to do it right now and then they know that my team is going to be leveled up next turn. I guess they could have parlay. I was thinking they wouldn't have one mana removal. I guess they could have parlay. I'm gonna feel really bad if they just go parlay. Oh man, oh man, I'm I'm already getting sick to my stomach. I guess we'll just play a second Teemo at that point. Okay, my life's not too bad. We still have a second Teemo, even if they have parlay. Just don't have it, just pass. Yay. Ooh, that was close. So I need to bank three mana next turn. If I bank three mana for like the next turn, then we'll have Unyielding Spirit. Um, they are an Ionia deck though, so they could have the William of Ionia.
More Teemos. Love it. All right, doubled it up. 28 puff caps. Doubled them up. Fiora bait tech. We had Fiora just bait out the removal so they didn't kill my team out. Seven puff caps. Do kind of want to play this unyielding spirit. I kind of put the Unyielding Spirit on the Fiora, though. Nah. Come on, what, what am I? What am I even thinking? Let's go, Timo. Let's go. Just one card, right? Yeah, just one card. Just throw this mushroom cloud at him. Give them another five to double up. So if I if I don't like, let's say we hit them right now, they'll have fifty-two. Or if I do this first. Then they'll have 62, you know, so it's just basically worth 10. <laughs> yeah, Andre, do it on Teemo, please. The man, man, he did it. Yeah, I know, like, if we're playing this deck, we gotta be unyielding spiriting Teemo. We got to. Let's get him. I'm running to a ton of Lux Karma on the ladder today. Any suggestions? I was playing all three Vi decks and Lux Karma Mirror. Um, don't remember. Um. No, we only just didn't control mirrors when I replayed that the other day. I do like the Bilgewater decks. Like, I mean, I I, I do like my uh, Bilgewater decks against that. But I guess if you know, if you want to, if you're worried about like Unyielding Spirit, maybe going like Bilgewater plus Ionia, so like Twisted Fate plus Karma. But in general, the Bilgewater decks are pretty good in that matchup. How are they just not drawing? They're drawing all these cards, but they're not drawing puff caps. There we go. Where are these puff caps at? Now this game's heating up. So basically, my plan is they just keep drawing more cards, and they're just going to draw enough puff caps to die. 
You know, because they play something, they get a, a blue card. Draw another card. Just keep on drawing these puff caps. They got 58 puff caps, 24 cards. It really didn't draw very many puff caps for all those. Hmm. Don't take my cards. My cards don't have puff caps on them. Your cards have puff caps. Yeah, draw another one of yours. This one's going to have three puff caps. That's my guess. One, two, three. Rats, just one. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Breathe in, breathe out. Is this mind meld this round set all allies power and health to the number of spells you've played this game which has been seven okay Dead in their tracks. Well, that's a pretty cool animation I haven't seen that card play before So close. Come on, Timo. Obviously, I should be doing these the other way around because of barrier life steal. Oh, I guess they don't—they don't actually do damage to Fiora, so I guess barrier life steal doesn't matter. Yes, Timo. Unyielding Timo. Oh, good old Teemo. Yes. That's one. That's that's like the uh, the bar that, you know, people had set thinking that we were only going to get one. Yeah, it took drawing both champions and two unyielding spirits. And both un unyielding spirits. We only got two in the deck. But it happened. We got a win. <laughs> oh no they're doing the same deck but like a lot better and they have they have will of ionia and they attack for a whole lot more Ooh, this is not gonna be good well i guess we just try fiora with all this stuff um what about radiant strike I just do Boom Crew Rookie standalone. The star beckons. I long for a worthy opponent. Lucky get to attack on turn three. Let's go. Voltron up. No, they had the Radiant Strike and I mulliganed my Radiant Strike. No. Oh, 
Why did I mulligan my Radiant Strike? I have unyielding Teemo against unyielding Shadow Assassin. Boo. Oh, it means they win. So these also have the unyielding spirits. They can't take damage or die. Uh, I guess Ionia wins the mirror. I'm gonna just need that mana. Yeah, it was Dawn and Dusk was that card that made the two ephemeral copies. Obviously, if they have any tricks out of those 10 cards in hand or whatever, we lose. 
So we're going to lose. But it's been over for a little while. So if I just did not mulligan the Radiant Strike, if I just didn't mulligan Radiant Strike, that could have been a lot different game. I don't know about how different though. I don't have any answers to unyielding Dawn and Dusk myself. I probably would have just done that, you know, that would have just same thing would have happened. Yeah, I wasn't going to kill them in, in time. Maybe we would have gotten one hit with Fiora, maybe. Mulliganing's at the very beginning of the game, whenever you have the four cards that you get to look at, and you get to um, you know, take some of them and shuffle them back and draw other cards. That's mulliganing. Okay, sorry. Burn deck. Okay, back to it. The, uh, the real sad thing is the team is going to die. I think we're going to have to try to unyielding spirit Fiora for a realistic win. This game, I'm definitely playing the Teemo on turn one because we have the attack token on turn one. If we didn't have the attack token, maybe I'd just wait till turn two to play it with Radiant Strike for a little bit of protection, but it's not much. Protection. They would fall by my That's aggressive. Never know what hit him. Okay, never mind. We're unyielding spiriting the Teemo. <laughs> Alright, we're I guess we're racing with damage. Let's go puff caps. I'll try anyone. I'm just gonna race with damage, I guess. No, yeah, yeah. You would think that they would just like let me challenge first and then do that in response to the challenge, I guess. But I don't know. They they just did it right away. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, down to eleven. So I have seven mana. Make the Empire this is three. I think we go Boomku Rookie. Of course I'm ready. And then we have Radiant Strike also. I think we're going to get, get this. Well, yeah. Let me get this. I mean, we have to kill them this turn. Oh, 
was a little, obviously doing the Radiant Strike on the Teemo would be good because I could get two damage in with the Radiant Strike, but I was a little worried that they would Mystic Shot my Teemo in response. You always go first, Teemo. You go get him, Teemo. Now we know that, you know, they, this is flip, you know, this is leveled up. They can't kill a Teemo in response. All right, down to two. They got to draw two Puff Caps. Come on, Teemo, two Puff Caps. No, zero Puff Caps. No. And then the Decimate. That's two wins. Top deck, get excited. Did he need the puff caps? Oh, that was a clutch, get excited. All right, look at us, we're two and two with Teemo standalone. We're winning some games. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if they didn't misplay the Noxion Fervor on turn three, they would have won. That's true. They would have just let me, um, you know, like, challenge, and then they uh, Noxion Fervor, and that would have kept me from getting three points of damage. Ugh. All right, so if they have Will of Ionia, I lose. But we already knew that. We knew that coming in. That's that's nothing new. If my opponent casts Will of Ionia, we lose the game. First big mission. Guess we do have a backup on Yielding Spirit. Time to go. <laughs> no, this is not the the new burn deck. I wouldn't say, but but yeah, no, we have been we've been getting pretty fortunate. I don't know. We snuck out a couple of wins. There we go. We'll say it like that. Just gonna, oh God. The problem with playing Boom Crew Rookie first is... Oh, gosh. They have that card, too. Because they would just... Like, if I do that, they go Grizzled Ranger... That's kind of a problem. I wanted to get that attack in first. Oh yeah, they would have gone Badger Bear. Badger Bear is a problem as well. Get him, Fiora. Get him. Let's go. They... No William? Let's go. I fight for the fallen. Ugh. Yuck. Hmm. For the honor right. No. And we lose. I long for a worthy opponent. <laughs> Such unrefined style. Basically not letting them gain the five life.
Opponent's super mean. Super mean. Yeah, this game's over, but we're still gonna. Yeah, we're gonna do our best to hit him with Teemo. Get him, Teemo. We're gonna lose, we're at least gonna give him some mushrooms. Whatever the cost. It's basically impossible to kill somebody with mushrooms when they have a Radiant Guardian. Come on, you have a Deny too? Yeah, we could go for the standalone Teemo, but that that has a 0% chance of winning. This has like a 1% chance of winning. I obviously need to get Karma off the battlefield. They're getting more free cards. Using a whole lot of cards just to remove this one at Karma. On that. <laughs> we did, we have led we have lived the standalone Teemo dream. Did we did double standalone Teemo in our first game? need another unyielding spirit but i don't have one my spirit is an unquenchable fire i really don't need them to have another karma we'll bring peace to ionia whatever the cost. we gave it a good try though you know like we had our two unyielding spirits they just ended up having the two will of ionias for them Here we, go. we gave it a good try Yeah, I had one judgment. Yep. We will regain what we have lost. Did have one judgment in the deck. That would have been that would have been a great draw. But now we drew the radiant strike. But yeah, there was there was one judgment in there. That could have been great. Um Okay, so there we go. Stand Timo standalone. We got to we got to do some cool stuff. We got to, uh, you know, have some fun. It's definitely a meme tier deck for sure. But we did win. 
We did win two games. Overall, a pretty successful day. You know, like we, uh, you know, we went two and three as our worst record with three of the decks. You know, Masters rank with some meme tier decks. Not bad at all. And then we had the Vladimir deck that looked real good and went 4-1 with that one. So awesome. Good good stream today. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, remember to let me know in the comments what do you want to see for meme tier Monday next week? What do you want me to uh, play? And, of course, just uh, any other comments about the deck. Uh, oh, yeah, never saw detain either that could have been a good card at, at times but anyway there we go that's timo standalone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video